It's <laughs> Cleveland Cassis for IFL London. We're at the Frox Kessler Way in here. With me, I've got Kevin Mitchell. You shaved your head again? Shaved it again, yeah. I need to, I need to get trimmed, don't I? Yeah, yeah. Right, so tell me what's been happening, because obviously your um, career has taken a bit of a different turn now, hasn't it? You've now signed with Eddie Earn. Yeah, nice time we've, we've signed with Eddie Earn, this sort of thing. And um, looks like we're going to be back regular fighting four or five times a year with Eddie and um, on Sky Sports. So I believe your first fight's going to be on a, a prize fighter bill, not in prize fighter, but topping a prize fighter bill on the 6th of July, is that right? That's right, yeah. And basically back in there will be a warm-up fight, and then probably fighting again five, six weeks after that, another warm-up fight, and then we'll basically just keep moving on like that. I know I spoke to you, what, a couple of months ago in, in Dagenham, yep. at Gold's Gym, but obviously your situation hasn't been quite sorted out then, so you obviously you're pleased now that you can yeah. see this year just getting back on track basically. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. I feel a bit more relief now, if you know what I mean. Now, I've got it, now things have happened and sort of things. Back then I was training every day, training hard two or three times a day when I see you a few months back, and nothing was happening, but now it's all taking its taking this toll and it um, looks like it's all going to be going ahead. Yeah, so and so, it's all good for me because I've, for a long time now I've been fighting like once a year, once every 40 months, and now I'll be back regular again, like as I say, three, four times a year. It's just like good for me and like, me to know my own head that I'll be fighting regular. Why did you take the decision to join Eddie Earn? Did you feel that he was the right promoter for you at this time in your career? Yeah, most definitely. I was, I was having a, had a few think about a few things, and how things were going with Frank, and basically I was looking at what Eddie was doing with his, with his fighters, and basically I need to be back regular fighting, and he agrees with me that we need to be back a couple of warm-up fights, then a domestic rival, a couple of, well, it could be a couple of domestic clashes, and then go back in from there. Are you looking uh, to get back to the stage you was at at one point, fighting for world titles? Yeah, 100% I've been winning them. I won't be having 14 month fat and having long times out for what I've been doing. I'll be like warmer, I could be getting in there again. I won't I'll be getting in the warm and firing with all cylinders, so yeah, definitely. You've been keeping an eye on Ricky Burns and what he's been doing? Yeah, I, was, I spoke to a kid the other month on the phone, I rang him up to see how he is and that. We speak every now and then. He's alright, he's looking good. I know he had an hard night the other night, but um, he dug through, his fit has come through it. And um, I give him um, a bit of advice. I said if they want the bone of fight and the bone of fight, well, they want it and he wants it himself. I said make sure you get well paid for it. So uh, they've made you an offer going the only way is Essex as well, Kev. Is that right from the new series? As if I <laughs> smashed that place up. <laughs> All right, Kev. Cheers, Listen, mate. good luck with your, your new career and Cheers. speak to you soon, yeah? Oh, mate. Thanks, mate.